I am speaking with Wendy Nather. Who are you with, Wendy? I am Research Director of the Enterprise Security Practice at 451 Research. And you were just uh, discussing, well, the psychographics of a CISO, and this is a result of 500 interviews that I know you didn't conduct them all yourself, but I want to know what you learned because this sounds completely fascinating. What was like the biggest surprise from this research? Well, uh, some of the, the fun results that we got, and, and we sit down and we actually talk with them. They, we don't make them fill out a survey. So we get answers that we don't expect. And so, for example, we asked what were the relative strengths and weaknesses of the IT audit function in their organizations. And we did not have this on the list, but people actually wrote in. The majority wrote in no specific strengths, which was kind of rude. Um, and we, we all agreed that it probably came because they didn't uh, understand and appreciate the uses of their audit function, but that was one of the surprises that we got. Just They just weren't aware what they had as a strength, or they just fearful that nothing's strong here? Uh, they didn't appreciate it, and you know we all understand, a lot of us do, that uh, IT auditors can be our best friends as well. Their attention to detail, their clout, uh, all of these can be very useful, but obviously not, every, not everybody sees it that way. Okay, give me a, another great discovery. Uh, another great discovery, well, uh, of course, mobile was at the top of everybody's list for the biggest projects. Uh, that and the biggest pain points were mobile and users, and users is not a surprise to anybody. But mobile was all across the map in terms of what people were working on, uh, right along with everything else, DLP, identity and access management, but it was like all mobile all the time. So then, then let's, let's focus on the last two things, D DLP and identity management. Uh, how were those playing, how, I guess, what were the levels of concern on the two or were they equal? Um, everybody is getting into DLP. Um, there are questions as to how effective it's turning out to be, but uh, everybody's trying to block information leakage, especially when it pertains to a breach, because a lot of times the only way you can tell that you're breached is if you start seeing your data leaving. Uh, so that's one of the big things. Identity and access management, we've been seeing that going on for years as one of the top projects. And I personally start to wonder whether it's that new people are getting into IAM or whether they're just consider continuing the same projects of IAM over years and they're not done with them yet. What about just, you know, the job of a CISO and specifically managing people, what did you learn about that? Because I've been hearing so much about burnout and the difficulty of keeping great talent because they just leave the industry altogether because they're burned out. So it's not like you can pick someone up from another company. Yeah, uh, being a CISO is one of the hardest jobs I, I personally have ever tried to fill. Um, you know, you hear all about social engineering and you hear about people who get somebody to click on a link, you know, by sending an email. That's not hard at all. I, I'm just not impressed by that. If, if you can get a thousand people to stop clicking on links, then I will be impressed because that's what a CISO has to do all the time. Wow, so that's, it's far more than just having technical chops, it's really having good social engineering chops within your own organization, yes? Yeah, you have to have great business knowledge, you have to have social engineering skills, uh, you have to have tough skin, uh, all of those things.